Welcome to Weekend Design. All around my home and office, I have pictures and frames just like this, but I wanted something a little more exciting. So local artist Jason Wright showed me how to take a piece of wood like this and turn it into this. Here he is to show you how. Okay, well, what you're going to need, uh, well, for this kind of project, first is going to be a plaque. Right there, you can get these at Michael's really cheap, I don't know, one or two bucks. And um, some kind of a backing surface. I've got uh, some plywood over there. You can use something different if you want. You can use like a stiff cardboard or pre-cut type woods. And uh, some fur from the fabric store. Get it? I got that stuff at Joanne's right there. When I when I grab the fabric, I test it like that. I grab it and I bend it. Make sure the bottom isn't showing. Some of these fabrics, if you pinch them, like if you try to wrap it around the image, it's going to show the uh, the mesh work, I guess you want to call it, under there. And we're going to use some craft bond to stick the um, fur to the backing surface, and some paint to make just to make the back look good in case you're giving it as a gift or something. And that's it. And maybe coat it with some uh, some kind of clear coat, like Mod Podge or something. And a sawtooth uh, picture hanger right there. You got the hammer. Got electric screwdriver. You don't need that. You can hand do that or nail through the back of the image. That's an acrylic painter's best friend. Is a hairdryer. You have got to get one of these. It's like five bucks. And that's about it. I think that's all the materials. Okay. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your image, I'm going to put the plaque on the backing surface and I'm going to trace a pencil line about half an inch to an inch. You don't want to bring it right to the piece because then you won't see much of the fabric. Doesn't have to be a perfect line either because the, the fur kind of discovers, or I'm sorry, the fur kind of uh, covers it like any weird edges. And then we're going to cut it out with a jigsaw. Once again, you can get pre-shaped wood if you want. You don't have to do all this. Now, with that piece right there, what you want to do on a piece of wood like this is uh, kind of round off the edges with some kind of like hand sandpaper or a mouse sander so that when you uh, pull the fur around it, a sharp corner might reveal the uh, the fabric under the fur that holds the fur together. But with this kind of thick fur, you won't see that. And you kind of tease it out to cover it up. And then after that, I'm going to paint the back black. This, uh, especially if I'm mixing a color, and I want to find that color again, put the lid back on. And it'll last for months. So it just looks more presentable. There we go. Good enough. At this point, we're going to line it up with the fur. This way you can use your image and kind of plan out what would look good behind it. Guess I'm going to split the pattern here. If you want to do a picture before you put the fur down, just cut a square in the fabric for where the mounting tape would go. You know, just push it in. You want a thick fur, though, so it'll kind of wrap around the, the photo. Then you line it up. Yeah, the back side is up. This is actually how it's going to be. I'm going to wrap it like this. In here, if you were going to put a photo, like say if the photo was about that big, you want to do a smaller square, like, you know what I mean? Just like a teeny, big enough to put some mounting tape in. It just, bam, stick it in from the other side. We're going to spray the craft bond on it. I'm going to spray... Oop the wood surface with uh, craft bond or some kind of or trim adhesive and let it tack up for about three minutes. You want it to be tacky to the touch and then I'm going to apply the fur to it. You get little bits that fall off. The dryer will take care of most of that and it'll fluff it up a little bit. 10-15 minutes like on a high setting. Line it up just the way you did the pencil mark. There you go. A nice step to it. Now we're going to spray about, probably about an inch in. Or you can do this and kind of look at how far you're going to need to spray it. We're going to spray it on the wood and on the fur a little bit. There we go. 
when it's set up. Actually, while it's setting up, we can put the sawtooth in it. Yeah, it kind of presses against the wall, so it doesn't have to be exactly centered because it'll it'll kind of stick to the wall a little bit. There we go. Okay, now it's tacky. Then we start bringing it in. It should fold right over if you cut if you don't cut too much out. That's it. Just kind of pinch it in like this too. See, there we go. You can see how the fur extends out further than the uh, than the sawtooth. That's why it sticks it to the wall. There we go. Elizabeth Taylor. That's it. After that, I'm gonna place the uh, plaque down and uh, get kind go. of a position on it. Something like this too. You can like rub it around like that. Kind of push the fur out. And then that's it. I'm gonna turn it over and screw it in from the back. Sometimes I put a piece of paper down so it doesn't scratch the image. But if you do a photo, you, you know, like I said, the mounting tape, you don't even have to do this part. You kind of hold the image too under there. Just one screw. You kind of, you gotta take it and line it up. And then it's done. That's that. It doesn't take a long time. All together, like actual cost, probably under 10 bucks for all of it. Thanks, Jason. For more weekend design, be sure to check Jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.